I, I can't imagine, I don't think anybody could imagine what <clears throat> this brave young girl has gone through <clears throat> as parents seeing such a tragedy unfold and yet having to be strong enough to be there for her. How difficult has it been for you and husband Rob over the last few weeks, months and years? It's been a, it's been a challenge. It's been uh, something that, um, you know, it's step by step, day by day, we've been able to go through each of the situations. Uh, we're very thankful that, you know, as we have in, encountered each of the challenges that we are able to, uh, to make it, we're able to uh, face the different things. And, and thankfully, we've come a long ways. We have a long ways to go, but um, so far, so good. Alicia, from your point of view as the mum, I want to hear from you if that's okay. How has the okay. family dealt with this? We've, uh, well, you know, it, it was definitely uh, something that blew us off the map. We've uh, clung to one another. Katie's an extraordinary story, and, and any, anybody watching this this morning must have such huge respect mm. for her, having mm. just being able to sit here and talk mm. like this. Um, the issue um, of National Ge Geographic featuring Katie's stories on the shelves 5th of September, which I think is really important because... Um, it's also guest edited actually by Katie Piper. Piper, so. who's been through her own facial disfigurement and difficulties and knows all about that. There, there was another dimension to this which must have been extraordinary, is that the, the gift of the facial transplant that was given to Katie has come from, uh, has come from, you know, somebody else donating their child's face to you, hasn't it? And you got to meet the grandmother of that person. What was that like? That was quite an encounter. We met um, Sandra Bennington, who's the, uh, who is the person, the grandmother who actually raised Adria, and she is the one that ultimately made the decision. She was really the next of kin. And we had the opportunity to meet her uh, some a number of months after the transplant. She's, uh, I, I think all three of us have said, you know, she's just a saint. And so it was a, it was a, it was a wonderful, wonderful uh, opportunity to meet her. Um. To you all, thank you so much for sharing the story. National Geographic, as we said, September mm. issue will we'll show that story. Um, for you all to have done this, we're, we're very, very appreciative and um, keep fighting, keep being brave yeah. and, and, and keep moving forward, all of you as a family. Katie, Because you're an inspiration, you. actually, you are. to Absolutely. an awful lot of people who are going through not as challenging as times as you may be, but their own demons and their own challenges. So thank you very much for talking to us this morning.